Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and my hair is wet. I hope everyone is doing good, and welcome to another episode of PSVR News. Today, we have got even more good news. As a follow-up to yesterday's episode of PSVR News, today we just got more, I'm delighted to say. But before we jump into that, maybe I can just ask you real quick to hit that like button, or perhaps subscribe if you enjoyed the content I'm making. If not, then maybe hit the dislike button. You know, let me know you don't like us. Anyway, moving on, let's jump right into us, starting with our boys over at First Contact Entertainment. So this popped up last night when I was fast asleep. So I didn't, I know there was whispers of us. I knew there was a Facebook post where somebody was saying, okay, now that Blood and Truth supports PS5, basically got a PS5 patch, can First Contact do the same? And then Hess Barber just replied saying, okay. So that was like super exciting. But then just a few hours later, First Contact Entertainment and Frank put out this video here. Let's just watch it real quick. Hopefully the sound will come through for you guys. As you can see, the PS5 lurking behind him here. The Firewall theme song playing in the background. And then the important part right here. So, let's see if we can full screen this without breaking things. So, update. Firewall Zero Hour played on PS5 offers reduced load times and improved visual fidelity resulting from an additional increase in super sampling pixel density from what is currently available on PS4 Pro. So what they're saying is not only are we going to get the better load times which we kind of expected anyway but these will be optimized now. Now we can expect a better image quality even better than what you guess on PS4 Pro. Of course it remains to be seen how much of an improvement that's going to be but there's even better news. So this person here, Saoko, I probably said that wrong, but whatever, says, I'm assuming you guys are updating the game. And then First Contact replies to say, who's to say we haven't already, winky face. So what does that mean? Well, that means that the last patch that came out for Firewall, and I did notice there was one downloading a couple of days ago, but I didn't think anything of it. I assumed it was just for like minor bug fixes or whatever. That patch that already came out, that is the PS5 patch. So that means day one, when you get your PS5, as long as you have the camera adapter, you are going to be ready to experience Firewall Zero Hour at its best, presumably, on PS5, and you're going to be able to notice straight away how big of an improvement this is. Of course, I'm over in Europe, so we're a week behind, so I'm going to be relying on you Americans and Australians and whatnot to let me know how good the improvement is compared to uh, PS4 and PS4 Pro. So that is super exciting. When Hess said okay on that Facebook post, I was like, okay, a patch is gonna come at some point. Did not think it would already have been under my nose the whole time, so hats off First Contact Entertainment for getting that out in time for launch. That's impressive, I think, and hugely exciting. So you might want some more good news. Potential good news. This next one's a little bit strange. It's not guaranteed anything yet, but it is definitely worth talking about, I think. So let's just jump right into it right now. Okay, so this tweet comes from a Dreams player and creator called Elka or LK Gaming. So this person, I'm assuming they're based either like uh, New Zealand or Australia or whatever, because they already have their hands on the PS5 and they've already boosted up Dreams on PS5. So from what we know, there was no PS5 patch like there was for Firewall, as far as we know, unless there was a sneaky one put out that Media Molecule didn't tell us about. But this person here, Elka, has compared the PS4 and the PS5 versions of his creation. So he's made this uh, last Airbender, I think it's Airbender, last Avatar? Yeah, Avatar. I didn't watch this cartoon, but uh, he made a level based on this cartoon. So on PS4, you can see that just this level here takes up 54% of the graphics cost. So every level, everything you make in Dreams has a cost. You can, these thermometers are here. You can see one on the right here, gameplay cost, 89%. So once you go to 100% on these things, you can't exceed them, there's limits, you know? So then he decided to test the same thing, the exact same level, on PS5, and the results are intriguing to say the least. Watch this. 0% on graphics, 0% on gameplay. I've just noticed now that these are in different languages. Kind of looks like maybe German, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, it's not really relevant. The point is it's 0% and 0%. Now, some people have questioned him here. Is this a glitch? Could this just be a weird kind of error? And he's replied saying, again, it's not glitched. As far as I can see, I tested it with overdraw, whatever that is, but it's like, 
he's added more to it to test it out and the percentage does eventually go up but he just adds so much to us so this person has claim and you can you, it will eventually go up to one percent but you just have to add a bunch to get there uh, so that is if this is true if this isn't a glitch this is a significant leap not even significant this is like a ridiculous no this is beyond your wildest dreams type of a leap from PS4 to PS5 on Dreams, it raises loads of questions because what if he makes a level that's like 50% on PS5? The PS4 version can't possibly run that, I would imagine, so there needs to be like PS5 only levels, kind of like the way there is on virtual reality. But as far as I'm aware, they don't have anything in place for that right now, which is what's making me kind of question this in terms of, you know, it could be glitches, the glitches and not a glitch. So he's posted this comment here as well as going to, he says, PSA to be super clear about this, the thermal limits isn't increased so far in Dreams PS5. The only thing for now is the immediate performance boost you get from the PS5. So far you can't put more things in a scene. Let's hope this will change though. So this is just completely, this has confused me now. This might have ruined the whole video, if I'm not understanding this correct. But what about the thermals he's just after showing us? Surely that's kind of proof that the limits has gone up, no? Let's go on to his profile, because he's talking about some video he has. Let's, let's take a look at that. Video testing out in-game thermo. It literally runs at 0% for gameplay and graphics. Tried to bring it up with overdraw to see if it's bugged. It's not. Also, overdraw in general shouldn't be a problem anymore. This is a super extreme case. It's literally mind-blowing. So this has to be the video. I mean, I don't really understand what his comment is. It seems to be that the... He's saying you can't add any more, but why can't you add any? What is overdraw? Has that got something to do with Drogist? I'm not familiar enough with the terminology in Dreams. Oh, hold on a sec. See it going up and down there? It's full screen now. It's so blurry. But that's jumped up considerably. When he gets near that thing, whatever it is. Okay, so that weird thing. This circle thing. That was up here this thing here that was like a bunch of paintings that really tested out what was what it was capable of yeah so this seems like it seems to be what I initially interpreted as uh, I still I'm confused about the comment he made I guess uh, but maybe somebody can clarify this in the comments maybe I'm just not technical enough to know what he's talking about and don't have enough enough experience with dreams uh, to figure it out you can let me know in the comments below uh, what I'm missing there but it seems there is some kind of huge upgrade to dreams. I just don't quite fully understand this, I think. Anyway, that is it for this video, lads and ladies. Thank you very much for watching. Before I end the video, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on screen now. Thanks to their generosity, they're keeping this channel lovely and moist. In particular, let me give a shout out to the following. Chopped 517, Tradition, Pete Hawkins, Crum. Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid and Columbus Thomas the Third. Thank you very much for that generosity, lads. Really do appreciate it. If you'd like to help me out over on Patreon too, the link to that will be in the description. But if not, I'd be very happy with the old like, the old subscribe, the comments, if you enjoyed the video, that is. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can find his music in the description below as well. As always, thank you very much for watching the video, lads and ladies. I really do appreciate it. Please, until the next time, stay moist.